Heart disease has been one of the biggest killers in the country for years and now more younger Malaysians are succumbing to heart-related issues. Is there a clear reason why? We asked Park City Medical Center's consultant cardiologist Dr Chong Yun Sin on what's contributing to this phenomenon and what can be done for prevention. Heart attacks have been the number one cause of death among Malaysians for 14 years straight. Yes. But how about the actual number of cases though, has that gone down at least? For the past uh, four decades, okay. I think the heart disease has overtaken most of the disease in this country. Mm. Uh, it's become number one uh, death in the country. Mm -hmm. We have a statistics of uh, 2016 from the Department of Statistics Malaysia. It's number one, 13% of the death, 11,000 uh, uh, patients died of heart attack in, the, in this country. If you calculate the number, um, per year, every day is 30 person death because mm. of heart problem. In the translate into every hour is 1.3 person die because of heart disease. That is significant mm. high number of death. But for the past few years, the number has been keep on increasing. Mm. So who are more affected by heart diseases? Is it the men or women? Because what many people don't know is that symptoms vary by genders. In this country, we have, uh, by based on the national statistics, 70% mm. uh, are male, all right? 30% are female okay. in the 2016 death of heart disease. Uh, men tend to be more uh, prone for heart disease death, uh, mainly because of the uh, social factors like stress, mm. uh, smoking, lifestyles, uh, and some part of the gene as well. Ladies tend to be a bit less, mainly because they are having menses, okay. the hormone actually protect them. When they age up to about uh, 50 and above, which we have menopause, then their risk is the same as men. So how can we then identify uh, you know, symptoms better? Uh, the most common symptom that we know for heart disease that everybody knows is actually uh, chest pain, All right. uh, you know, compression pain, you know, like something step on you, hmm. and profuse sweating and difficult to breathe. These are the classics chest pain or heart attack pain that okay. we have. At the moment you see any of your friends, relatives, uh, working colleagues, you have this pain, immediately bring them to the hospitals. But sometimes uh, it doesn't present that way. A lot of time people present with uh, some subtle sign like giddiness, okay. uh, fainting spell, just sweating, a little bit of a palpitation or heartbeat mm. fast, uh, epigastric pain, uh, back pain, numbness, jaw pain, uh, slight unwell and things okay. like that. So everybody present slightly different. Heart attacks mm -hmm. are commonly known as an old man disease, right? Yes. But these days we are seeing it claim more and more lives of younger people. We've seen celebrities like Ashraf Sinclair, mm -hmm. Godfrey mm -hmm. Gao. Now, mm -hmm. why is this the case? This is mainly because of the lifestyle. lifestyle. Mm. Uh, we tend to see uh, uh, older generation who have a uh, heart disease mm. but today you know in my clinics we tend to see much and much younger patient come to me with a severe heart disease they are mainly in the uh, 30s to 40s medical treatments have advanced with time and tech yes right um, as for cardiovascular diseases how advanced have treatments become over the past let's say 30 40 years uh, those days uh, if you have heart problems you either take medication, mm. all right. Uh, a little bit more advanced is that if you have quite a bad heart disease, you go for bypass. Okay. But today, the technology is so advanced that we can do most of the treatment for heart patients with minimal invasive procedure. Uh, you know, we can identify them. Uh, we can do a needle hole in mm. procedure, which is only 1.8 mm mm. through the wrist, to the wrist over there, mm. and that 1.8 mm can treat most of the coronary lesion that uh, is doable today. Yeah. So a lot of times that, uh, uh, um, you know, just a simple procedure, uh, patient is most of the time quite comfortable and, uh, you know, within an hour we settle the, the procedure and you can go back six hours later. At Park City Medical Centre, mm -hmm. tell me about the treatments that you offer in this cardiovascular sector. Yeah. We have a full spectrum of uh, treatment for heart disease mm. and uh, imaging tool. Uh, we have the um, ultrasound of the heart. We have the most advanced CT scan 
in the country, we, we can uh, scan the heart within just split seconds to see whether there's any coronary artery disease. We have the, uh, one of the most advanced MRI of the heart that we can identify the heart function and structure of the heart uh, you know, without any radiation, just by MRI. Uh, we have one of the uh, most advanced uh, low-dose uh, intervention uh, NGO system and then uh, that can actually uh, show the blood vessels in a very uh, accurate way. We have uh, one of the most advanced, the uh, intravascular ultrasound. We can put a small dot of camera into the patient blood vessel to identify how much plaque burden they are in the blood vessels to uh, correctly treat the uh, blood vessels right. that is needed. Of course, when it comes to treatment, you know, cure and management, people do have their reservations. It's like the situation with anti vaxxers So how do we then get you know, more and more people to embrace new treatment methods? The screenings or the treatment nowadays is nothing to fear about. It is very safe. It is very simple. Uh, most important is that early detections and early treatment can really, really save life. We are talking about saving life, you know. So most of the young people nowadays at the 30s, 40s and 50s are the uh, pillar of the economy, of the house, the family and company and is even the country. Mm -hmm. So they are very, very important. The moment you have a heart attack, uh, you can lose your life. So whatever that we have now is early detection and early treatment can save life and can prevent catastrophic uh, 